This is how you read the information for an element. First off, this is where the name is located. Seems kind of obvious, but just in case you missed it, this is carbon. Right here, this is the chemical symbol. Chemical symbols will always be listed with a capital letter, a single one, or a capital letter and a lowercase letter. Sometimes you'll notice that the chemical symbol starts with the same letter as the actual chemical. In this case, chemical symbol C for carbon. However, in some cases, the chemical symbol will actually be different than the name of the element, and that's because the person who discovered it actually spoke a different language. So the symbol reflects the language of the original discoverer, and you will see the English name written in the box below. After the chemical symbol, the next thing we are going to talk about is the atomic number. The atomic number is located at the top, and it is the number of protons in the atom. We'll learn more about this in the future. Down below, this is the atomic mass, sometimes also called the average atomic mass. In our book, the atomic mass has been rounded to the nearest whole number, 12, um, for carbon. Each element has its own atomic mass and its own atomic number. Now, the reason we say sometimes the average atomic mass is because some carbon atoms are a little bit different and may have a slightly different mass, either a little bit more or a little bit less. But on average, the majority of the carbon atoms will have an atomic mass of 12. So right now, take a second in your notebook to pause the movie and draw the image below with labels on your paper under the word notes. I know it says under, but under the word notes. All right, now that you recorded your notes in your notebook, let's also talk about a few other symbols that you may see on your periodic table. In your book, it will indicate whether or not the element is a gas, a solid, or a liquid at room temperature. Each of the different elements has its own symbol on your periodic table to indicate that. So as we see down here, hydrogen has the, uh, has the symbol for a gas because at room temperature, hydrogen is a gas. Carbon has the symbol for solid because at room temperature, carbon is a solid. And bromine has the chemical symbol for liquid because at room temperature it is a liquid. You may also see a little symbol that looks like a man which means that chemical or that um, element part of me is actually artificially made. It doesn't exist naturally in nature. Well that's how you read uh, the symbol for a element on your periodic table.